Hi guys, welcome to the Steve in the Alien Anime Studio tutorial series. My name is Chad Trofgerben, and I have been doing tutorials for a few years now. I also dabble in animation with Adobe Flash and Anime Studio. You can find my work at IncredibleTutorials.com or Trofgerben.com, which houses most of my animated works. Anyway, to get started with this entire series, I just thought it would be best to give you guys some details before we dive into the animation process. This is all very important stuff, so please pay attention and write this down if you need to. First, we'll be using Anime Studio Pro 8 for this series. In order to obtain a copy of this, you can go to getanimestudio.incrediblettutorials.com and either download a trial or purchase the software. Again, you'll want the pro version because the debut version lacks many features that I will be showing you in this tutorial series. Once you have obtained a copy of Anime Studio, you'll want to open up the software for the first time and go to File, Project Settings. Here you can adjust a few different things, but focus on the left side of this box for a second where it says Dimensions. Now, you can use any type of dimensions you want for your video, and you can also use any type of frame rate you want. I recommend that you go with the HDV slash HDTV 720p preset that Anime Studio gives you. This will give you the smallest HD format available, and it's a pretty good screen size, and it uploads well to YouTube, and it just looks good overall. However, again, you can use whatever you want, and the same goes with the frame rate. I will be using a frame rate of 24 frames per second. You can again adjust this if you wish. If you want a smoother looking video, you can bump up the frame rate. If you want something less smooth, you can turn it down. Just remember when you are creating all of your project files that all of these settings are the exact same, especially when you're animating out your scenes because you don't want different shaped scenes and different scenes with different frame rates because that will really mess things up, especially during the editing process. So in order to ensure all of your settings are the same, set them right now and then click on the Save as Default button. You'll no longer have to worry about this then as you make new project files in Anime Studio. Next, be sure to save often when working on your project files. And to do that, you just go to File and Save, and this will save an Anime Studio project file that you can open up later on and edit and play with. On the same note, later on in the series, we'll be getting into a process where we will be opening up projects that we have already made in saving as to create new project files off of those older project files so that we can use their assets and so on. And in order to do that, you just go to File and Save As, and then you just make a new file. You can name it something different and put it into a folder and then click Save. Again, this will be later on in the lessons, and I'll try to remind you of this as often as possible. The best practice is when you open up a project file to reference, you go to File Save As so that you have no danger of overriding that existing file. And along with your files, it's always best to organize them into folders. For instance, when we make the van, the UFO, the gun, and so on, you may want to save them in the Objects folder. When you are designing scenery, you may want to put that all in the Scenery folder. When it comes down to create characters, we can make a characters folder, and then you can save all of your characters in that folder. The same goes with your animated scenes and your videos. When you finish an animated scene, you're gonna want to export it as a video. You may want to put all of your videos in one folder just so everything is organized, and I believe you'll find that to be an easier process when it comes time to edit all of your video clips together in the video editing software portion, which will happen in lesson eight. 
And I believe that does it for this lesson. Again, it's pretty short and it might be a little bit boring, but this is all very important stuff that you should either write down or just make sure that you memorize before we get started on this long journey. And it is long. It's going to be over 11 hours of lessons to create an animated cartoon. Anyway, welcome to the series. I hope you find it fun and educational, and I'll see you guys next time.